Hi everybody, it's Steve on the Guru Bro. Today I'm going to take you through the procedure for restoring to factory a Dell laptop. I get asked this question all the time and I think it's best that customers learn how to do their own machine. So here's another one, Dell laptop restore Windows 7 coming up. Okay, I like to document how to restore computers whenever I have a chance to help others out there. I've been doing this for years and you know it's time that some users out there found out how to restore their own computer. So if you're at all interested, I hope this video helps you. I have other brands too. You can look at my channel and find like Gateway and HP. This one's going to be about the Dell Inspiron. This is an N5050, and it's a pretty common laptop that you might see here in a repair shop. It has Windows 7 on it. Let's go ahead and uh, restore this computer. I don't have to save any of the data at all, so I can just go for the restore. I went ahead and plugged in my power cord already. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the computer. And as soon as I turn on the computer, I'm going to start tapping F8. I'm doing that right now. Okay, if you've done that right, you'll get this screen right here. Let me move my arrow so you can read what that says. It's repair your computer is the very top one. That's the one we're going to go with, okay? Go ahead and press enter. Now, if this, if this does not work, if you do not have the repair your computer option you're not going to be able to follow this tutorial any further and you're going to have to go find yourself a restore disk okay all right for those of you that has it has has worked you'll arrive at this screen now this is going to take a few minutes to load up the main thing is just be patient and wait for it and i'll be back as soon as my screen changes all right, well that took a few minutes. Now my screen has stopped and it's asking me a question. It just wants me to put in the input method for my keyboard. Now this is the login that you used to use when this machine was um, before you started doing this. So I need to log in with her credentials. I'll be back in just a moment. All right, I went ahead and put her password in that she gave me, and this is the next thing that comes up, the system recovery options. You can look on down through here and read what all the different ones do. The one we're going to use will restore our Windows computer to factory state, and it's the very last one here. Now, one more time I'm going to say this. If you do not have this Dell Data Safe Restore and Emergency Backup on your list, then you can no longer uh, follow this video. You will have to get the CD or DVD disc that come from Dell to restore your computer that way instead of this way, okay? I have other videos about that subject on my channel if you want to check them out. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and click on this one right here. The Dell Data Safe Restore and Emergency Backup. I'm going to click that. Now keep in mind that all this stuff takes time and sometimes it might look like your computer's not doing anything, but just leave it alone after you've clicked and allow it to come up. Do you see how long that took there? Okay, so we're at the next screen here and there's several options that we can do. The first one is to preserve new or change files. I want to completely restore so I'm going to pick this second one, select another system backup and more options. I'm going to hit the next button here. And I want to restore my computer which is right here. Okay, next. Next the list will come up and it tells me how I can restore my computer and there's a factory image from when this um, machine was born. Dell actually put this partition on there and it's dated for 2 2 2012 at 11:43 a.m. so you can see when this machine came off the actual assembly line of Dell. Okay? We're going to go ahead and click the next here. 
Now keep in mind, this is not going to save our files, and if we have pictures or music on our computer, this is going to erase all that, so make sure you save that first, okay? One more question. I'm going to restore without preserving this one. Next. And it's asking me to confirm it, and it's warning me that um, everything's going to be deleted, just like I had told you before. Hit yes, and next. And this is where we wait. This takes some time. This could take an hour. could take two hours. If it takes five hours, there's something wrong, but it can take several hours. Okay, I'll be back. This is getting ready to finish, so I thought I'd go ahead and turn my camera on. There's only 1% left to go on this restore. So let's just wait a minute and see what happens here. Okay, so there's a restart button here. Click. So you can see it's going through all this setup prep and stuff. Really, it might flicker on here for another few minutes. I just don't know. I'll be back as soon as it asks for another question. Okay, well, we're getting there. It restarted, and this Windows 7 setup came up. So I'm just going to go ahead and click it through. Next. It's asking for a username, so I'm going to go ahead and put in the information that my customer gave me. I'll be back after that. Okay, so I gave this computer a username and a password. Now it came up with this, and I'm just going to answer this question for my time zone. Make sure the time's correct. Which it's not. It's 1040. Something on these clocks. Really make sure that you, your time and date are correct. Because if they're not, if it's not correct, you can have problems getting updates from Windows. And I've seen this happen before. The computer just quits taking updates altogether just because this time of date clock was wrong. So keep an eye on that. Next. It's asking me to join a wireless network, and this is not my computer. So I'm not going to do that now. I'll let my customer do that later. So we're just going to skip that. And I'm just going to give the network a name, even though I didn't do one. <laughs> and looks like it's going to come up here. I'm going to go ahead and switch video, um, memory cards in my camera. I'll be back in a second. Okay, we're still rolling along here. I'm answering questions. You have to agree to all this stuff before you can start using the product. This is what I like to call blowware. Stuff that they just blow at our computers with stuff that we don't even use. So you can see this is just a lot of answering one question and then waiting 10 minutes. Answering another and waiting a half hour. <laughs> it's really that pathetic. As soon as something changes, I'll be back. Okay, well it stopped again and I have to hit the next key. Sometimes I wish they would just go ahead and do this for me without hitting the next key because, you know, it's going to do it anyway. Now, right now, if you notice, it's going to, it's trying to get me to install a McAfee Security Center. And that's one of those programs that's pretty personal and you don't see a cancel or a skip or anything. There's just a next button, which if I hit it, it will install this McAfee. Let's try the red X on that. So that worked just fine. Now there's something else behind here. A Dell stage updates available. I'm just going to cancel all this stuff. And this is a Windows update, so I'm going to go ahead and take that. So I have to restart now. Now, yours might be different. Once you get to this point, you just have to dummy up and follow through the questions, I suppose, and you'll get a lot of this. 
So anyway, um, when I get a desktop image or something exciting happens, I'll I'll be back. All right. Well, it looks like I'm just about done here. Hopefully, this will be my last login before I can use the computer. At this point, I've gone ahead and connected the network Wi-Fi. I'm sorry, the Ethernet cable into the computer. So this machine is still going to take downloads um, from Microsoft and Java and Flash, I'm sure, Adobe. So this is a, a really young install and you're going to have to expect that. Um, you're going to get you know, updates constantly for like the first week. And then you're going to get stuff like this that you're going to have to make go away. This is that McAfee that I told I didn't want it. But I can go ahead and uh, get rid of that in the control panel after I cancel out here. Let's see. See, they don't even have a button where I can cancel out. But what happens if I disagree? Disagree. I've declined. Yep, I have. So that's one way to get rid of McAfee, I guess. And then I've got this box that popped up over here that wants me to create a set of backup discs for this machine. And that is a good idea if you can create backup media for your machine. That way if anything ever happens to the recovery partition you can use this um, to fix it. But you're going to have to have some blank DVDs on hand and spend some time making these discs and you might need three or four of them just to finish the install. Okay so that's as far as I'm going to take you guys. So that is another reinstall of Windows for a Dell laptop and you know I get asked to do this all the time and I think it's better if users can just do it themselves. It's, it's nothing hard if you just follow these steps. So thanks for watching guys and I will talk to you later. Bye for now. Hey guys, this is Steve. Thanks for watching. Hey, don't forget to subscribe if you like this video and be sure to rate and comment. See ya.